Hello, Mr. Rahul Shekhar. Hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 3 in Mechanical Branch in the ESC 2021. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. That is. Yeah. Uh, Rahul, it's a very proud moment for all of us. You please tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our ACE Engineering Academy. So I was enrolled in the offline coaching in 2019. And after that, I also joined Deep Learn for uh, so remaining portions of the syllabus. And then also, of course, test series and interview guidance, I opted at ACE, sir. OK. So initially, you have joined for our classroom coaching. Yes, sir. At which center, Rahul? Sir, I was at Delhi Center. Delhi. So you have joined initially in our classroom coaching, Delhi branch. Yes, sir. So and also you took some uh, the deep learning recorded classes. Yes, sir. Deep learning recorded classes also you have taken yes, and uh, online test series as well as uh, interview guidance program. Yes, sir. Nice, uh, Rahul. You please tell us how this ES Academy uh, classroom coaching afterwards. The deep learning recorded classes, the interview guidance, our online test series, all uh, helped you in developing the subject and preparing for the examination and uh, getting such a good rank, All India Rank 3. So, when I came for uh, what I say, when I came for coaching in 2019 July, so I was, uh, I had certain means, I was very, very poor in all the subjects in mechanical, actually. I was not confident of achieving anything, but in fact, in ESC 2020, I was not even, I have not even cleared the prelims and in gate 2020 also I got 7,000 rank, but it was due to the coaching that I, that was very, very systematic in manner. And if we con consume the entire resource that has been taught in the class, as well as in the test series and all, it was, uh, we can be very well assured that we will be getting very good marks. So, and in the lockdown period, I opted for deep learn because I missed certain number of classes because I came late to uh, Delhi. It, it was almost August. So for those portion of the syllabus, I opted for deep learn. And uh, yeah, it is very, very fragmented. And uh, I could actually look into every minute aspect that I had that had uh, that I had doubt in. So I used to miss at least four or five courses I did from deep learn. And of course, test series is very, very must uh, for our, because we, without test series, there is a means we cannot, we will not be able to polish our preparation and uh, interview guidance was, uh, interview guidance and mock interviews were also provided, which were very, very helpful, sir. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, thank you, Rahul, for those kind words. Uh, so you said that initially joined in our Delhi branch for classroom coaching. So yes. approximately how much of the syllabus that you attended in the classroom coaching? Around, I would say, 75. So 75% you attended a classroom coaching in our Delhi branch. Yes, sir. Remaining 25% uh, attended mm -hmm. in the form of uh, regarded yeah. classes to deep learn because of this COVID uh, right, restrictions yes. and all. Okay. Uh, Rahul, in our classroom coaching, so yes, how was sir. your uh, main experience with regard to these uh, classes? So how this faculty is to start? And uh, what was your feedback on that classroom coaching? Can you please share? Yes, sir. It was uh, basically where I got to understand very, very minute aspects of the engineering. And basically, sir, everything was taught. And it was in very, very directional manner that uh, we first uh, basic courses were there and then advanced courses were there. And uh, there was a lot of emphasis on the problem solving in the classroom, which was very helpful to all of us. And yes, sir, this was the most important aspect. And of course, theory was also very much covered in the, those subjects, which were predominantly for ESC, like uh, RAC, power plant, these type of courses in which theory is predominant, then theory was given prior, priority, sir. Okay, right, uh, Rahul. Uh, Rahul, in our classroom coaching programs, we give a lot of material for the students. Like uh, for every subject, we give volume one, volume two, and mm -hmm. also, uh, we give this uh, previous year's question bank. Yes. Right? Sir. So, what was the contribution of this uh, study material in our success? Yes, sir. It was. It is um, means when I, when we solve the volume one, it is sufficient, more than sufficient in nature. That if we solve volume one, all the types of questions are being covered. I didn't solve volume two. I solved volume one and then previous years and then test series. I thought to me. 
I could have solved volume two, but I thought uh, revising these many number of times would be a better idea. So yes, uh, volume one is sufficient to cover all the variety of questions. And uh, previous year in my uh, gives us basic idea of how the questions are being asked and what frequency and what is the relative importance of topics for those previous years I have solved and uh, finally test series. Sir. Right. Okay. Uh, see, in the classroom, you might have taken the running notes, right? Yes, sir. Apart from this uh, classroom coaching running notes, have you prepared yourself any further uh, short notes again? Yes, sir. my idea was that when uh, whatever is being taught in the class, uh, after I go to home, I look all the all the thing that has been taught in the class and prepare a short notes of uh, which is about 10%, 15% condensed version means it is 10% of the total that has been taught in the class. So after uh, two, three rounds of revision, I used to revise only the short notes and uh, so that I have means I'm able to revise multiple number of times. Class notes I used to refer only when there is a doubt in the conceptual clarity. But for revision aspect, I used to refer only short notes, which I prepared every day or in a span of two days. Yes, sir. It would be about means if classes are happening for seven, eight hours, then it would take around one to one and a half hours to prepare the short notes. Yes, sir. Okay, okay Rahul. Rahul, you said that uh, uh, in ESC 2020, you could not clear. Yes, sir. But in 2021 ESC exam, you got excellent rank of R India rank of three. So, so from your previous uh, experience, yes, I can say if you don't mind from your previous uh, failure, what points that you have learned additionally, what modifications you have carried out in your uh, preparation, and that brought you this uh, success under rank three in the latest uh, 2021 exam. Yes, sir. first of all, sir, the 25 percent of the syllabus which was not covered by me, the, I completed that 25 percent. That would give uh, uh, some bonus, um, some some upgradation to my level uh, as compared to 2020 plus sir when i joined coaching in 2019 syllabus is completed around end of november or the beginning of december and prelims happened in january it was almost uh, 20 25 30 days for uh, revise but after uh, completing completion of syllabus in 20 early 2020 i had ample of time so the major aspect was problem solving which i lagged in the first attempt so i solved uh, previous year volume one so for another time and uh, yes sir and I gave lots and lots of tests so major major aspect was i was focused on problem solving sir yes okay. sir so what i understand rahul compared to your previous uh, attempt in this attempt you got enough time to complete all your syllabus preparation and also you did lot of practice of the relevant question bank right yes sir. these points have contributed in our success Okay. Yes. Good, Rahul. Rahul, in our engineering series examination, we have the prelims part, then we have the mains part. Okay. Uh, did you prepare the prelims portion and mains portion simultaneously? Otherwise, up to prelims, you prepared only prelims. Afterwards, you can do mains preparation. How we have segregated this prelims and mains preparation? Sir, uh, it is very, very tough to prepare for both simultaneously because the uh, nature of questions that are being asked in bo both the examinations are totally different. So firstly, when I finished my syllabus in uh, after through deep learning in about June 2020, I started preparing for mains first. I prepared mains, then left the left mains preparation. And then when prelims was approaching in 2020 July, 2021 July, from April onwards, I started preparing for prelims. And, uh, I, and since I have prepared some amount of mains already, so, sir, that also gave um, in the means after prelims 2021, I had to only polish the mains aspect, and that helped greatly, greatly, sir. Yeah, that is a good approach, Rahul. That is a good approach. See, in the prelims portion, apart from our technical syllabus, yes. we have that uh, right, that uh, general studies part. You have that uh, you have ten subjects there, like uh, uh, material science, ethics, uh, ethics is there, quality management, mathematics. So many topics are there. Yes, so sir. what was your approach towards these topics in this general studies part? Yes, sir. General studies is basically the difference creating paper in the prelims, sir. It is very well said that it is very tough to score beyond a level around 75-80 marks out of 200. General studies is very tough. So I thought, sir, uh, I segregated the syllabus into three parts. 
the uh, three sub three there are ten subjects. So first two category of subjects was which I have to prepare thoroughly. They, these include sir mathematics, aptitude, material science. Uh, sir, these are subjects which are very very these are doable if we have studied. But sir, there are second category of subjects which I didn't study, like uh, ICT and uh, general studies. GK current affairs is there. This even if we study, we are not able to get uh, very good marks because uh, the expense of syllabus is such that not defined, and then we will not be able to means if we, even if we study a lot, we will be able to solve three, four, five out of ten questions. So I didn't bother about them. There was second, third category of subjects like ethics, project management, um, and um, standards and quality. These are doable subjects. So I solved a lot of questions of them. Studied. Studied once and solved a lot of questions. So in this, I was able to get around 60-70 percent, 50-60 percent, 60-70 percent in these four or five subjects. And in the first three subjects, material science, maths, and aptitude, I tried to score around 90-90-95 percent. So around overall, I was uh, as a, I checked from test of the as I checked from the answer key, which is released by coachings after the ESC prelims, I was getting around 105-110 marks. So that was, I think that gave me around twenty twenty five percent twenty five marks bonus, sir. Yeah, right. Good. So getting a hundred plus marks in the uh, prelims or general studies part is uh, something a good achievement. Yes, uh, Rahul. yes sir. So Rahul, one interesting point what I came to know from this interview out of the general studies portion, the ten subjects you said that uh, like uh, ICT and current affairs part uh, you did not uh, bother about. So yeah. you have completely left or at least some basic points you have prepared there. So yes, sir. Whatever I attended during the coaching, I read those notes once or twice, sir. Okay. So that if some uh, very easy question comes out, uh, uh, then I am able to get. So, but remaining eight topics you have made for preparation. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, good. Uh, for this, the uh, first part that's fine, right? Because technical in the previous means we have only that what you call objective part. That we have to solve without uh, calcy, so mostly theoretical. Of course, you may have a few numeric problems that you can solve without the help of calculator. So, in the technical paper of general studies, how many marks you would have got as for the uh, tentative to key released by this coaching center? The technical part, I got around 220 marks, sir. Okay, out of 300. Yes, sir. So, that's also good. Yes, sir. That's also good. Uh, Rahul, after the prelims exam was over, Yes, sir. So, uh, what was our exact approach towards this mains portion? Sir, for mains, I had joined. Uh, I had joined the coaching, and but I was not uh, watching each and every video, but only those in those subjects which were relatively weaker from my side. But for mains, the key aspect is writing the writing practice, sir. I used to write all the test series, all the previous year question papers. I used to solve. And, but not just seeing over the questions, but writing while uh, while I am practicing, I was writing from with my hand only. Then th that was uh, ma my major aspect. Mm, yes, sir. Practice. Yes, sir. Is, yeah, I do agree, Rahul. For mains portion, the writing skills play a crucial role there. Yes. Sir. So already we had some foundation in the prelims portion, right? Prelims preparation already have prepared. Just you need to know some how to fine tune that the rest of the topics there. Yes, sir. Uh, exactly how many months that you would have prepared after planes for the mains exam exclusively? It was around uh, four, three point five months around uh, time was available between prelims and mains. That was solely given for mains from my side. And before prelims also, I had prepared for mains for around two, three months, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Right. What was the main source for this uh, mains preparation, Rahul? You have followed this uh, study material, uh, previous year's questions, or any anything else extra you have followed? Yes, sir. In 2020, mains batch also I joined at ACE. I had uh, notes of those uh, mains classes. And some some aspect I studied from 2021, ACE mains batch also. And But the major aspect was uh, the previous year. And uh, solving a lots of test series, sir. Yeah, right. So the test series, uh, previous year's question bank. That's what you focused on doing. That uh, mains yes. preparation. Yes, sir. Mains preparation, right? 
good and that to this mains portion you have to write in the qcf format question yes. come answer booklet format yes, right sir. so the mock test also you might have taken on the qcf booklet format yes sir that is very important because if you see it for the first time in the question paper in the exam hall then it will be a very tricky to comprehend ki what is going on right so normally many students what they uh, tell us is in the mains portion time management is one of the uh, very important factor and one is the time management another one is the selection of the questions also yes so what was uh, your approach in the mains examination sir in mains examination sir there are eight questions we have to select five sir but the even if we complete four questions uh, thoroughly it is very good it is considered very good attempt 240 marks out of 300 if we have attempted it is considered a good attempt sir my approach was for select the easiest numerical questions first for 2 to 2 and 2.5 hours or around 2.25 hours sawa do ghante ke liye we should do only numerical portions the mind is in a cool state we are not panicking at that moment of time then in those i should solve the easiest numerical questions and for last 40 45 minutes whatever theory questions are i know i was i used to write those at the fullest uh, at my fastest speed because even if at the last time we have come, already done easiest numerical questions the toughest numerical questions are remaining it is high probability that under the pan panic state is also there because the time is less so in that case it is very highly likely that we will be solving the those numericals in a wrong manner so at last 40 45 minutes i used to write theory for 60 70 marks and uh, in the early stages i used to solve um, numericals with a cool head yeah that is a good very good approach uh, rahul uh, yes. actually because uh, that the critical questions have some amount of flexibility If you want to write one theoretical question, you can elaborately can write. Yes. Suppose you are running short of time, you can compress. You can write main just only. Yes, sir, that so that is one of the advantage of writing a theoretical question in the last uh, stage of that examination. Yes, yes. it's a very good approach, sir. Rahul, Rahul, we have in the mains uh, two papers. Yes, uh, could you solve all the five questions in each paper? No, sir. I solved around two uh, fifty marks in paper one and two forty to thirty five marks in paper two, sir. Okay. Paper two was the, to paper two was very tough this year for mechanical. Mechanical. Okay. Now when you compare this uh, key released by the coaching centers, yes. So sir. how many marks you are getting approximately paper one, paper two of the mains? Sir, paper one I would say sir two hundred ten around, and paper two I would say one eighty, one eighty five around sir. Right. Okay. Three ninety. So, yes sir. Good. Good approach, uh, Rahul. So this is the first time that you went to the interview also, right? Yes, sir. This is my first mains, first interview and selections. First mains and first interview also. Yes, good. It's a very good achievement, sir. Rahul. Our rank B means a very good achievement. Uh, really, uh, like to congratulate once again, Rahul. Uh, what was your interview experience on the day of interview? Which board you were actually? Yeah. Which board interview board? Which interview board? Uh, Mr. Vyas sir was there. Vyas, Vyas, right? Okay. Uh, how long did it uh, last interview around 30 35 minutes sir oh, 30 minutes means a uh, good amount of time yes sir uh, do you remember any uh, two three interesting question that you were asked in the interview yes sir so since i was from sanic school so chairperson sir asked uh, related to sanic school also so he said can you, can you do you think that women will be as competent as men in the combat roles in army if you think so why so so yes sir this was one of the question i thought i had not heard thought much about this before but yeah i said ki i don't think there is anything that a man can do and women cannot do so that was one of the question and uh, sir so they also asked uh, our defense forces are posted in high altitude so what you as a mechanical engineer could do for them uh, and sir there were three four questions from fms flexible manufacturing system by one of the technical members there were yes sir um, automatic okay. yes. right uh, out of all those simple questions uh, approximately how many questions that would have answered satisfactorily sir for non technical questions it, uh, we have to answer anyway because uh, okay. they are those are opinion based so i answered all of them but for technical questions around 75% sir good good so what was your feeling after completion of the interview sir uh, it was uh, i think it was the best moment that i got very hopeful right 
Yes, sir. It was the best mock interview that I gave, sir. It was right. Uh, good. Rahul, uh, this all India team means uh, you are in the top uh, from your journey of uh, preparation for this engineering service examination, right? And from your experience, uh, will you please share the other aspects of engineering service examination? Some useful tips, particularly from mechanical branch of engineering, or else in general also you can share. Yes, sir. sir. First of all, sir, we have to to everyone who is listening. The first of all, most important thing is you should understand the syllabus or what the paper is asking. For prelims, you need to be able to guess, make intelligent guesses in the paper. For prelims, GS paper, GS paper. Because even if you study anything, but they will ask from I don't know from where they are asking. It was my second attempt, and this year also, 2022, I gave the paper prelims. Three times I have given paper, but never I get from where they are asking the question. But we have to be able to solve so many questions during the practice that we are able to make intelligent guesses. And yes, sir, that is one of the most important aspect for prelims paper one. But if we don't solve lots of question, we will not be able to make intelligent guesses. So that is important thing for paper one, paper two of prelims. That is mechanical or the technical paper. There are. Certain topics which are not asked in gate but exclusively in ESC, like power plant, RAC, IC engines, mechatronics and robotics, renewable energy, and so these subjects are means holistically theory theoretical in nature. We cannot escape this and clear prelims. If you there will be seventy five to ninety questions asked from these topics, and if you know the theory part, you will be able to solve one question in half minute. But other topics which are in gate as well as ESC, from those topics numerical comes like MOS, mechanics of solids is there, fluid mechanics is there, heat transfer. From these they can ask numerical questions. When numerical questions take three four minutes, two three minutes at least. So theory part has to be completed very very in a very holistic manner. That so that we have uh, if seventy five or eighty question come from those topics, we are able to get sixty correct. So this is the most important thing for prelims paper two, and for mains, yes, um, solve twenty so last twenty year paper and understand what are the nature of questions that they are asking. At least join join test series um, as many as you can for mains um, for mains, and uh, look what types of mistakes you are committing. How could you maximize the number of attempts and uh, of the questions that you are solving? You cannot afford to. Means uh, attempt numerical questions and then uh, means in an incorrect manner. If you one numerical question is of twenty marks, if you say, and if you attempt three four wrong numericals, then uh, your paper will be doomed. So attempt what you are attempting with a when you are assured that you will be able to reach the correct answer. That is the most important aspect and select questions properly. This will come only if you have practiced for large number of hours. So yes, last give lots of test series, lots of previous year, and uh, revise thoroughly, sir. Right. So the practice is very important for this engineering service examination. Okay, Rahul, uh, approximately how many hours you used to work daily toward this preparation? Sir, I means on an average, sir, it will be around seven hours, sir. Because it is a long, long preparation. We cannot go at nine, ten hours every day. For for my personal case, I was not able to means sustain at nine, ten hours per day. So I used to study every seven hours. So yes, sir, and about half day break in a week. Yes, sir. Right. Good. So on an average, seven hours a day preparation. Yes. Half an hour, uh, half day break uh, every week, right? Yes. Uh, totally, uh, Rahul. Uh, how many months of time you have spent on this IES preparation? Totally. Yes, sir. So, uh, if we include the co coaching portion also, sir. Yeah, yeah. Total everything, everything. I think yes, you are to the nineteen onwards. You said right? Yes, sir. Two, sir. Two, two years preparation. Two and half year preparation, but sir, three four months I have given to gate two thousand twenty one also, where I got thirty second rank. So that was also there, sir. Means okay, right. you can say half year to gate also. Okay, so two, year. two and a half years, a half year you spent on the gate preparation. Mm -hmm. So uh, exclusively on the ESC means around two uh, years of preparation you would have spent. So you said in twenty one gate you got thirty second rank, right? Yes, sir. 
Did you, did you appear this uh, gate 2022? Yes, sir. This year. What, what is your rank in the gate 2022? The 301. 301. Okay, because you're focusing mainly on the engineering yes, services. Yes, we yeah, so. Then, uh, in the same time, in the, yeah, that's understandable. Right? Anyway, you got only 30 second rank, wonderful rank earlier. Mm -hmm. Rahul, in your opinion, uh, writing gate exam, uh, will it be helpful for this injury risk preparation also? Yes, sir. sir if we see around 30 40 percent of the mains questions are of the level of the gate two marks questions only. So, gate is important because. Uh, because those subjects are very conceptual in nature because if you don't uh, understand the gate topics it will be very tough to comprehend the topics which are application based in the gate the syllabus is based mainly of uh, um, conceptual in nature and uh, those questions help to help us to build basics though th for theory we have, of esc we have to prepare separately but for concept building and uh, numerical solving gate is uh, equally good sir right and one more Rahul, in your preparation, uh, did you follow only this uh, coaching material what ESA has provided or did you refer to any textbooks also additionally? No sir, I didn't look for any textbooks. So textbooks you mean to say not necessary, right? No sir, not necessary. Okay. Uh, very good uh, Rahul, you have shared very good points, particularly for this uh, engineering series examination in general and mechanical engineering in particular. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, in the mains portion, which subjects were highly scoring in your mechanical? Can name two, three. Yes, sir. Paper one, paper two. Yes, sir, uh, there are four sections. Means in, in each paper also there are two sections: section A, section B. Yes, so yes. in section two, one, sir, there is uh, heat transfer and uh, thermodynamics. These subjects, so I believe in this paper one, section one. This year, IC engine was easy, and uh, IC was also easy. So there are these. From these topics, there are predefined set type of questions that come every year, sir. There is never a year when VCRS or vapor compression refrigeration cycle doesn't come. In paper two section, paper one section two, uh, energy energy related topics are there: power plant engineering, renewable sources of energy, and hydraulic machines. So, sir, this year everything was easy in that section. We could have attempted all the three optional questions from the, the that only, but we had to attempt one from the other section also. So I think paper, 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 two? Paper, two, paper two was very, very tough. There was not a single question in which all the three parts could have been attempted. So I think, um, sir, paper two, section one uh, is of design subjects, mechanics of solids, machine design, theory of machines. I think there were some easy questions from each and some tough questions from everyone, sir. So uh, there is nothing in particular that I could say which one was easier. In paper two, section two, uh, industrial management was easy. Production topics are there. In production, uh, industrial management, mechatronics and robotics are there. Is there. So I think pro industrial management was easy. Material science was easy. And production was also easy to some extent. Mechatronics was uh, tough. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Very good, uh, Rahul. Now, coming to your uh, educational background, you said you had your schooling from Chinese school, right? Yes. Uh, it from? B.Tech from IIT Kanpur, sir. B.Tech from IIT Kanpur. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, very good, uh, uh, Rahul. So, you didn't go, for, you didn't opt any campus placement. You wanted to go for engineering services. Yes, sir. Okay, good. And what are your parents, uh, Rahul? So, my father is a, is a professor in the Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding at Pantanagar University. My mother works as an agriculture coordinator under the Bihar government in the district of Supal, sir. So your parents might have supported you a lot in your uh, yes, office sir. preparation, yes, sir. isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Were, um, my yeah, support. Please, uh, convey, convey our wishes and congratulations also uh, yes. to your parents. Yes. Okay, Rahul, thank you so much. We yes. have shared very good points. I think the interview what we had between us, uh, Will certainly friends, uh, friends are also very have been also very cooperative, sir. Yeah, yeah, so your friends you. also. And one more, let me ask uh, Rahul. Uh, did you prepare uh, prep, uh, this? Uh, did you prepare alone? Otherwise, we had any group study, like two, three like-minded people making yes, combined sir. study. There, uh, there were lots of. Uh, there are my friends also who are preparing for the same. Yes, okay. uh, we used to study together in the okay. De Delhi only. 
So your, your friends also contributed something in your success, right? I would like to thank them. Is few of them, sir. Nitin yeah. is there. The Janvi is there. Anchal is there. Rashmi is there. These have been very good friends. Okay, so, right. You know, talking to friends in this long journey of preparation always make you relieved, right? Uh, yes. You, you you convey our wishes also to your close friends. And uh, Rahul, because you are from IIT, right? Uh, had you taken up some campus placements, etc., you would have got a good job also. But you wanted to go for engineering services. You yes. made a long preparation, more than two years, is it? In this long journey of preparation, have we ever come across any sort of demotivation, some sort of uh, what you call uh, mentally becoming low, disappointments, anything as such? The, the, those times have been there, particularly when I was not able to clear prelims in 2020 and even the gate, uh, I got 7,000 rank. This was a very tough time. Then lockdown happened and uh, I thought that uh, I have screwed up everything and I could have been easy, leading an easy life. Uh, but I kept going on. The, then 2021 gate happened. I got good rank. Then prelims also, I got good marks. So from the that uh, from there i got into the channel where I, I was very positive but yes sir in 2020 uh, there were months when i was not feeling very much concerned about my decisions right good rahul thank you once again thank you for sir. sharing your valuable points uh, with us i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you sir thank you Congrats sir you, Especially thank Ace again, sir. It was very, very helpful time for me. Thank you, sir. Right. Particularly, how to be thankful to our Delhi branch. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. There were Delhi Ace Academy. Very supportive people, sir. I can uh, have any time gone to Rakesh, sir, and asked, sir, ki agla course kaun sa hone wala hai. And he was, and all other staff at Delhi Ace was very, very helpful, sir. Yeah, well, Rakesh is there uh, in charge of our Delhi branch. Yes, sir. He's a nice person, right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rahul, once again. Thank you. God bless you, Rahul. Thank you. Sir.